Okay, keep your panties on. I'm pregnant. What? Nobody can say nothing bad about Tony Dan or Taxi or who's the boss. Nothing you do. The election is over. Thank God. Now we can get down to the really important stuff, like hearing what Lindsay Lowen thinks of our new leader. Listen closely. It's an amazing feeling. It's a whole. It's our first, you know, clone president. So that's like. A... Did she just say our next? Couldn't be. It's an amazing feeling. It's a whole. It's our first, you know, clone president. So that's like. A... Colored president. Yes, she did just say that. Thank you, Lindsay. Hoping to return the favor, Obama issued this statement. Well, that's nice. Moving on, Madonna's New York neighbors have filed a formal noise complaint, saying Mother Time keeps them up all hours of the night. The material girl says she's practicing for her tour. That's the noise, but neighbors insist it's a cow giving birth to a spiked whale. I have the complaint. It says it right here, spiked whale. Also, speaking of Madonna, the Daily Mail got a hold of a list of demands she gave estranged husband Guy Ritchie for visits with the kids. According to the list, the children can only drink spring water blessed by Kabbalah leaders. They have that at Quick Trip, I think. The list also requires the kids, quote, should not be bought toys which are spiritually or ethically unsound. And that makes me feel like an idiot for the movie I just sent them. Barney's bondage porn heroin adventure. Personally, I'd love that gift. Moving on, Britney Spears' son, Jaden, is out of the hospital after that allergic reaction. He's doing fine, other than the fact that Britney's his mom. And Selma Hayek told Fox News she's addicted to breastfeeding, and after seeing that picture, so am I. And Amy Winehouse, oh my god, what is that? Ew. Next up, Real World. Why not start big? First up, Quantum of Solace, the new 007 flick, starring, of course, Daniel Craig as James Bond and Olga Kurylenko, something like that, as the Bond lady. This time it's personal for the secret agent as he avenges the death of a lover and attempts to stop a crazy tree hugger from hijacking a vital water supply. You don't have to worry about me. Restrict Bond's movements. Put a stop on his passports. Bond. All in a day's work for Mr. Bond, whose time at the office seems almost as busy as our staff's. Next up, nothing. Nothing major, at least. You'd have to be nuts to go up against Bond, but there are a few indie flicks insane enough to do so. Starting with The Dukes, a re-released film starring the same five people from every clumsy mobster movie. This one's about a doo-wop group struggling to stay afloat, so they attempt an elaborate heist. We need to look out. Wake up. He can't even walk. He can sit in the car with a walkie-talkie. Anybody else come in behind this? No Danny, nobody. No names, idiot. Sorry, Danny. Haven't I seen that movie before? Ah, uh, what was it called? Uh, it was like a, like a body of water, river. What was the name of that movie? No. <sighs> Maybe not. Moving on, we have The Beautiful Truth, because we all like a good conspiracy film. This one's based on supposed actual events in which the man is trying to suppress Gerson therapy, a supposed holistic cure for cancer found in the 20s, but stomped out by the big bad drug companies. There are laws against healing cancer. The doctor is not allowed to try anything else. He must use only those treatments that have already proven to be failures. Imagine what we could do if this could be accepted. So it's a film that says medicine is bogus and mythical power Hours will cure all. I know at least one person will see the film. Tom? <laughs> seriously, Tom, are you going to see this movie? <laughs> Tom, seriously, I was just asking you. <laughs> you know, shouldn't you be killing Oprah or something? <laughs> YouTube. Next up, Tube Talk. Oh, Rusty is bumping Tony from behind him. Tony flips his car. Think about that for a moment now. Kiss my fat. Life for Brad Garrett is tough. The guy must get mobbed everywhere he goes after being on that show that got canceled because it couldn't even pull decent ratings with American Idol as a lead-in. Well, Mr. Garrett has had it with the fame, and this week he took his anger out on the paparazzi he hired to follow him around. Check it out. But seriously, can you blame Brad for being mad? He just wants to go out like everybody else and cash his welfare check like the rest of the cast of Till Death. Ouch! That show blows. Moving on. Remember ER? Still on. And this week, Noah Wiley told TV Guide that George Clooney told him 
he may be interested in coming back for the show's final season. And hey, speaking of Clooney, Pop Sugar named him the hottest bachelor in Hollywood. Who's Pop Sugar? Exactly. If that side can make a list, so can we. Here it is. Next year, I'm going for the clean sweep. Also quickly, Joe Scarborough said the naughty word of naughty words on live TV. These are good, decent, steady men that don't go around flipping people off or screaming you at the top of their lungs. Can't even say that here, pal. Also, please say Paula Abdul stalker Paula Goodspeed killed herself outside the idol judge's home. There's a fun story. Also, Rogaine didn't work for John Travolta. And finally, Ryan Reynolds brought his kids to work. Oh, that's nice. I am so finished with this week, but of course there's more at ToasterRav.com, like our trip to a new Kids on the Block concert, OMG. See you next week.